Time for a little whatnot unboxing. Got two shipments here. Uh, it went to my P.O. box, so I just picked them up. However, if you're not on the Whatnot app, grab that Whatnot app. I didn't know if this was legit at first, but it is. And it looks like it's pretty controlled and pretty safe. So I, I'm looking at comic books on here. This is going to be a comic book unboxing. If you want to stick around and see what I got in these two, it's basically like an online, online auction. Um, buyer protection, all that stuff, but I'll put a link down below if you want to check it out. It'll give you, uh, if you use that link, it'll give you a $10 credit towards your first purchase, which is actually how I got this first one. Now be careful because this whatnot thing is addicting. I'm looking for certain comic books in there, but sometimes you see deals pop up. They have buy it nows, they have live action um, auctions going on, stuff like that, or live auctions, some of them dollar start, two dollar start, so this one here I got from Three Keys Comics, they probably don't mind if I put their address, but I went ahead and blacked it out just in case, but let's see here, like I said, this is addicting, this should be, I do believe this should be a couple of Star Wars. There's my little pack slip, and I'll get this off of this board here. Okay, what did I get? What did I get? The suspense is building. The suspense is building. Box arrived undamaged, which is good. I just don't want to damage the comics trying to cut this tape open. Yes, these are the Star Wars. All right. <laughs> okay. I'll get up close. Give you all up close look at these. Star Wars that I needed. Up close. Alright. So the first one here I snagged number 37. And it's condition. It's okay. It's not too bad. A little dirty there on the white. On the spine. Could use a pressing. But this is going into my personal collection. And then the other one here. This one's in a lot better shape as far as um, not needing to press probably 100 issue 105 so it's a little newer but part of that original run there those are again I use the ten I use the ten dollar credit uh, from a link that I used to sign up from somebody to get these shipping is really good on this stuff too it's like let's see shipping on this one does it say I want to say it was like four dollars for the first one. It was like fifty cents when I added because I got, you know, I won the auction on that, and then, then I won it on this. So when you're in someone's live auction, as you're adding and, and winning more auctions, you don't have to pay that. Um, it gives you a prorated shipping that just kind of adds on for the weight and stuff. So let's see what I got in the second box. All right, second box was from Never Enough, is is his name on the Whatnot app. What not seller. This one I don't exactly, I could go try to look it up, but I don't exactly remember what I got. I think I just kind of was fooling around in the auctions and went a little crazy. A little crazy. So I have multiple comics in here. Let's see if it tells me on the packing slip. Um, no. Two items, but if I remember, oh yeah, I did get a flash. Okay. And then one of them was like a bundle. Okay, let's see what I got. Alright, let's see here what I got from Never Enough Comics. Got the Flash 230. This is uh, Volume 2 
the last issue in this. I think this came out 2006. Wally West was the Flash in this series. Let me adjust this camera a little bit. So that was the last on the Wally West where he like retires or whatever it is. I need to read this one. I don't have this one. But last in the series kind of interested me. I have a spattering of Flash comics. And then, so I got that one. And then a separate auction. I got all five of these for five bucks. So dollar an issue. And I needed this one. The Punisher. Number one. This is the origin of microchip. Part one of two. I have number two. So now I have number one to finish this one off. It's a good old microchip. His tech. His tech guy. His guy in the chair. Making his gadgets, whatever. So now I have that one. And then it had this in there, cage number one. I do believe this was early 90s. So I never had any of the cage. Um, but number one, so it would be a key issue. I don't think it's worth a lot, but it, all these are in great shape, really good shape. Inhumans, king size special. I know a little bit about the Inhumans, but not a lot. So, But with the um, Doctor Strange... A multiverse of Madness movie. You might recognize this guy who was in there. Black Bolt. So he's from the Inhumans. And they did a failed... I didn't get to see any of them, but they Marvel did a, a series with the Inhumans with that same actor. I think that was around 2017 they did that or something like that. And I didn't get to see any of them. I think it got canceled right away. Uh, this one here, I think, uh, again, is early 90s or mid 90s, but it's a number one, so that's pretty cool. Number one of anything is usually pretty decent grab, especially in great shape for a dollar. This one is uh, Factor X. It's not X Factor, so that kind of threw me. I really didn't wasn't paying attention to that, but now that I see it, it's actually Factor X. Number one, Deluxe. It's in pretty good shape. There's a couple of spine ticks right there. Doesn't look like the color break though, but Factor X. I don't know a lot about them. I think they're like the mutants that work for Apocalypse. So yeah, enter now the age of Apocalypse. So number one, not bad. Another number one, and this one kind of is is another reason I bid on this. So really, the Punisher in this one <laughs> kind of grabbed my eye. Demolition Man. What a great movie. So this is the official comic uh, movie, comic adaption of the movie. However, this is part one of four, so now I gotta freaking find the other three. I may just stick with this one though. It's the number one, so it has a really cool cover. Man, that was such a good movie. This one's in really good shape too. I don't see anything wrong with this one. So there's my grabs from whatnot. <laughs> Post up the comments down below. I'll put the link, whatnot link, down below. And if you want to use that link, it'll give you a ten dollar credit if you want to try it out. Again, they have buyer protection, all that stuff. So I was really, I'm, real, I'm always there hunting for these. <laughs> I'm really trying to get these in in decent shape, like in at least fine to very fine shape, um, for less for five dollars or less than a than that a book but that just adds up real quick even at that price there's so much just junk these books were these star wars vintage star wars from 77 into the early 80s and mid 80s i think um up to one issue 107 there were so many of these out there there's so many reprints too so these are are they're direct uh, direct editions but they're not reprints or anything so that's good and those, the early reprints are really what's what's out there a lot. I, I don't know when they stopped doing the reprints on them, but they were reprinting these like mad. Every kid had one, had these books. I know I would carry them around on trips and stuff and just trash them. So that's probably where most of mine went. They went, they got trashed. <laughs> Which I mean, that's what you're there to read them, right, as a kid. But now I want the full set back. So on the hunt, there's my grabs. Let me know what you think. Thanks for hanging out. Boom.